All right, so hunting season's coming up later this year, and I wanna go for geese and stuff like that, so I wanna do some testing with my shotgun, make sure the patterns are all good to go and I know where it's shooting. So we're gonna be testing a few different kinds of hunting ammunition here today. Um, what we're gonna be doing first is the Black Cloud three inch uh, BB shot. That's gonna be an ounce and an eighth of shot. Next up, we'll do actually probably the heavy steel, which is gonna be three inch BB one and a quarter ounces of shot. And then we'll do the Winchester Super X, which is going to be three ounces, BB one and an eighth. And then finally, we got some 12 gauge field loads, which are going to be basically for grouse and stuff like that too. We might as well test them out while we can. These are actually going to be two and three quarter inch number four shot uh, of an ounce and an eighth. So a little bit less shot. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's go check out the gun. weighted and balanced shotgun that I picked up pretty budget worthy as well as around $350 Canadian so if you guys want to check these out you definitely can uh, I'll leave a link to their website in the description and definitely feel free to go ahead and check them out all right so we're gonna be loading up the shotgun here first off we are gonna be using the three inch black cloud BB shot so we're gonna go ahead and pop that in and we got a shoot and see target down the range there that we're gonna be shooting at so we'll set up the camera so you can get a good view of that So this was a shot from maybe 30, 35 yards away. Uh, it's running a full choke right now as well. And as you can see, it's not actually that good of a pattern if we're being honest. So um, we're shooting at the shoot and see here, of course, aiming dead center. So we're gonna have about three or four grouped here. The main pattern is up and to the right. Um, so we're maybe gonna have to compensate for that a little bit. Um, and we only have about five hits actually down here. The rest of them are all going to be up here. So it seems to be shooting a little bit high and a little bit to the right. So we're going to try and get some other shots in here and see if it uh, persists. So we did a second round with the uh, Black Cloud 3 inch. You can see by the target here, we actually got a little bit better grouping. We got around five right in the middle this time, couple up here towards the top, and then a big group down in the bottom left. So um, it doesn't really seem to be consistently shooting off one way or the other, it's just kind of going wherever. Um, of course, on my own time, I'm gonna do a bit more shooting uh, with the Black Cloud just to see if we can get it patterned out. But right now, it looks like it's gonna be a fairly decent pattern, especially at that range. So we were standing all the way back over there shooting here, so it's pretty good. All right, so next up, we're gonna be shooting some Diarrhea Brown Heavy Steel. It's gonna be a three inch BB shot as well. Let's pop this in here and see what we get for a result with it. Let's go check it out. All right, so something you might notice, first of all, if you're looking at the target with the Heavy Steel, um, that is these guys, by the way, in case you didn't see earlier. There is going to be a lot more pellets on target here and a lot tighter groupings as well. So right in the middle, we're gonna have three shots in the bullseye area. We have a cluster of probably like 12 right here alone. A good six or so here and it patterns out all the way around here as well. So if you notice with the black cloud, it was hitting kind of up here, over here. Um, what I'm liking so far with the heavy steels, first time shooting these by the way, there's gonna be a pattern all around the paper. So we're going to try and paste this up the best we can, fire the second shot and see if it's consistent or if it's just lucky. I like this though, I can paste up like four holes with one sticker. Alright, so it's going to be the second shot with the uh, three inch heavy steel BB. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and see if it's patterning any differently or maybe it was just a lucky shot last time. All right, so I'll just go ahead and ignore a couple here. I actually shot 
another shot from the heavy steel and I pulled to the right so it missed most of it. But as you can see, let's just, like I said, ignore this. So over here is where the pattern hit and there's a lot tighter grouping than the black cloud and there are a lot more pellets on the actual targets. So we have a group of like, probably like 10 to 12 in this area here. And then we have probably about eight or nine up here alone. So this whole area got absolutely covered by the pellets. Um, so it's a lot tighter and more dense than the black cloud so far, which means of course, if you're shooting a bird on the fly, you want that like pellet density to hit them, take them down, you know, humane hunting. All right, so we ran out of the circular targets. So we just set up a square one. It's gonna be roughly the same size, um, kind of out in the outer very edges here. We'll just ignore any pellets hit there because it's gonna be overlapping a bit. But uh, right here in the center is where we're gonna be looking for the pattern. Let's go get this tested. All right, so next up, we're gonna be doing the three inch Winchesters. These are the goose loads that I was using last year. So let's go ahead and just see how they perform on paper. Let's go check it out. All right, so you remember how I said we're just gonna ignore the pellets on the outer extremities? Well, if you look here at the target with the Winchesters, this is where the old target was pretty much right here. So basically nothing hit in the center um, and we're hitting all on the outsides. We've got a group of like four there, probably like eight up here, none in the middle. They're all here and around the sides. So basically the pattern seems to have a hole right in the middle where you're actually aiming, which is not the best. So we're gonna go ahead, fire the second shot, see if we can get a different result. All right, so we pasted up the target a bit. We're gonna be doing our second shot with the three inch Winchesters. Um, the last one there had a little bit of a hole right in the middle of the pattern. Let's hope this one doesn't, otherwise, probably gonna get rid of them. All right, so looking at the Winchesters here, we seem to have kind of the same situation going on. So we got one hit in the middle this time, so that's good. Um, and then we have a big cluster up here in the top left, a decent cluster in both these sides, none down here. So basically there's a gap in this area right here. So the middle and the bottom right. Um, so there's a huge gap and it covers this area here. So that's definitely still not a good pattern um, because you don't want a gap right in the middle where you're shooting. So let's go ahead and try some other things. Now I'm gonna be shooting some fun ones. So I have a two and three quarter inch, one ounce slug. I have a three ounce Magnum one inch slug. So we're gonna be shooting both of those at the target down there. See what the grouping's like and see how accurate they are. My shoulder! <laughs> All right, so next up, we're gonna be shooting some Remington seven and a half target loads. So these are gonna be two and three quarter inch. And they're gonna be, well, there's gonna be a lot more pellets than with the hunting loads we're using since they're a lot smaller. So I'm gonna be going ahead and loading up a full three here in the tube. And we're gonna be pumping them onto that target basically as fast as possible while still being accurate. So let's see how it goes. Let's go see how it looks. All right, so looking at the target here, you can see our slug shot's still here. We couldn't really patch those up, um, but basically this whole area is just all green now because of the amount of pellets. And you see, they're actually very small as well, so a lot smaller than the goose loads we were shooting, but that's basically three target loads all impacting on that target, which is pretty cool. Two of them. All right, so this is actually the second shot in a row that this has happened. A little, I guess, possible nugget of knowledge for the manufacturer. Something seems to be happening, so it's locking up the extraction process after shooting. So there's no live shells in here, but tractor didn't even grip the shell so that's not too good there we go now it did it's, uh, it's an interesting problem this is for science we got it going again and we're locked up right away so 
extractor didn't grab it. So I guess just a little PSA, if you're running a WP-12 by Revolution Armory, don't run Challenger ammunition through it. It's not exactly the best. Um, they look basically exactly like any other shell, but it uh, doesn't really seem to be working the best. All right, so we've got more Challenger loads here. These are actually gonna be from the red box instead of the blue. Shouldn't be a difference, but they might be from a different batch. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get a different result out of this. I'm gonna load one at a time, just so I don't have a live one in the tube. We'll see if we get the same issue. No lock up. We're gonna do a test of four shells, just so we're being fair. Nothing yet. And there we go, lock up. Okay, so. seems any sort of a challenger ammunition does not do well in this gun come on extractor didn't grab it once again one more for science and it didn't uh, malfunction but Let's go ahead and just show you the boxes and everything so you know uh, what ammo to possibly avoid. All right, so I got both boxes of the ammunition here. This is going to be the blue box challenger and the red box challenger. And as you can see, there's not really any like deformities or anything like that to the shells. They're just not cycling at all through the gun. I checked the, um, the brass here and it doesn't seem to be any different size or abnormalities, abnormalities compared to the other shells abnormalities maybe i don't know might be the word but it looks exactly the same it should be functioning fine it's just not actually cycling through the gun so all right so just kind of giving my final thoughts here on the wp12 it is a very good uh shotgun especially for the price range i have never had an issue with it before with cycling pumping anything like that the trigger is very good it locks up tight so there's not really any give to it um, specifically with the mossbergs you can move your like handguard probably like a good inch <laughs> when they're locked up even so it's definitely manufactured very well takes down easily cleans very well the only complaint was when it came from the factory it hung up a lot right about there when you were pumping it a little bit of oil fixed that so it's nice and smooth now one last thing I want to show you here before we go is going to be the target we're shooting at so if you come over here and take a look there's uh, just a few yeah. pellets that hit the paper <laughs> so that was putting all those target loads into it and this is what we got now just a bunch of pellet holes so thank you guys for watching the video hope to see you next time uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried Saying that I wasn't right, yet I was right by your side You manipulator, playing games, your friends commentators And I don't know what you say about our private conversations But it's got them hating, thanks for all the rumors you be claiming It's cool, I'm done with you, 